Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to have another fragrance or review. This time it's going to be from Stone Candles. Yes! So this time I have one, nine different fragrance oils, guys, that I got. And this, um, I think I, this is something different, guys. You know, I'm not the kind of candle maker that I like to do inspired, uh, inspired by scents, you know. I find it like it's not, uh, that I want to be more original and create my own. But I just wanted to experiment, guys, and to bring you this inspired by fragrance oils from Stone Candles and I have them right in here in order so I have all the documentation in here that I want to read to you and I also went ahead and I went to chat GPT and I also uh, gathered um, I don't know a different description that I want to share with you guys okay so the first scent is gonna be it's inspired by cool water uh, inspired by Davidoff uh, it's called uh, sea water ozone and oakmoss that's so I went ahead and I made a fragrance strip in here so now I'm gonna Deep it in there, but I'm not gonna smell it, guys. I'm gonna read you the description first, okay? So I'm gonna put it right in here on the side, on the front. Can you see it? Okay, right in here. Okay, uplifting notes of citrus collides with fresh sea waters, wild geranium is blended while lavender and jasmine in the heart. Bottom nuances of oak moss complemented with the sweetness of tonka, amber, and cedar. Set notes, top note, sea water, orange, lime. Middle note, geranium, lavender, jasmine, and the bottom note, it's oak moss, amber, cedar, and tonka. Wow, this is really nice. I don't remember that I ever had, I remember that I used to have the cool water scent uh, years, many years ago. This is very oceanic, very fresh, very uplifting. There's something there that is not, um, it's not really like lifting me up. Uh, but I have to say, yeah. This is really nice, okay? So let me see, let me read to you the description using uh, ChatGPT. I think it's, it's a great idea, guys. Whenever you have a question, whenever you wanna get more uh, educated on something, I think um, now that we have this uh, artificial intelligence available to us, I think it's better, you know, it's good, it's good for us just to use it to our benefit. This scented candle is a, is a refreshing and invigorating fragrance that evokes the scent of the sea and the freshness of citrus, absolutely. At the top, it features the cool and crisp aroma of seawater, complemented by the sweet and tangy scent of orange and zesty and refreshing fragrance of lime. Absolutely, yes, I, the citrusness, it really like, it makes it even more fresher. Moving to the heart of the fragrance, it features the delicate and floral notes of geranium, the fresh calming scent of lavender, and the sweet and exotic aroma of jasmine. Finally, the base notes of oak moss Amber, cedar, and tonka provide a warm and comforting finish that is both earthy and musky. Together, these notes create a beautifully balanced and invigorating fragrance that is perfect for creating a fresh and uplifting atmosphere in, in any room in your home. <sighs> yes. Okay. I have to say one thing, guys. Uh, there's something in, in this scent that I find it too, too strong. Uh, for me, you know, uh, maybe it's because it has too much uh, citrus on it that it's not really giving me the um, the aquatic vibe that I'm looking for, okay? But yes, okay, this is number one. Let me just put it in here. Scent number two is called uh, Royal Oud. This is the label. Yeah, you know what, guys? It, it's When something is too overpowering, I think it kills the whole mood, especially citrus, you know? I think uh, citrus, you have to be careful because you want to have the hint of it. Um, but you don't want it to be overpowering, and to me, it's uh, it's too overpowering. You know, again, everybody sensory scent uh, is different. So, okay, so let's read about this one now. Uh, the top note is uh, bergamot, lemon, pink peppercorn. Middle note is angelica, green moss, amber mist, and the bottom note tonka bean, guaca wood, and musk. A heart of green moss is surrounded with citrus, florals, and dark woodland. Ooh, this one is really, 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 really nice. And this one is inspired by Crete, the same house that is very expensive. Okay, this one, I, I smell the bergamot and I smell the uh, the lemon, but it's not overpowering. Uh, it's not uh, as crisp as the, as the first one. It's very welcoming, very sexy, very romantic. Very, uh, it's telling me a story, guys. This one is really, really nice. I think this will be great all year round uh, on, a, on a candle. Uh, would I mix it with something else? I may mix it with something else. Uh, it's it's woodsy, a little bit of woodsiness in there. Uh, it's not, too, and also I like the balance of the amber. Okay, 
I think the balance of the different notes really work great right on this uh, on this on this blend. <sighs> Absolutely, my, one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm gonna put it uh, yes. The first one I'm gonna say no for me. So let me read to you the description that I got from uh, Chat uh, GPT. Okay, this said the candle is a fresh and uplifting fragrance that blends together a variety of citrusy, citrusy and earthy notes. At the top, it features the bright and zesty aroma of bergamot, beautiful but not in a strong way, it's dumped to perfection, complemented by the tangy and refreshing scent of lemon and the spicy and peppery fragrance of pink peppercorn. <sighs> it really blends really well. Moving to the heart of the fragrance, it features the herbal and slightly bitter notes of angelica, the fresh and musty scent of green moss, beautiful, and the warm and cozy aroma of amber mist. Finally, the base notes of tonka bean, guaca wood, and musk provide a grounding and sensual finish that is both uh, woody and musky. Together, these notes create a beautiful balance and lifting fragrance that is perfect for creating a fresh and invigorating atmosphere in any room on your, uh, on your home. This is really nice. Wow. I'm gonna have to try that on a candle myself, okay? Because that's very promising um, for one of my candle lines, okay? Well, I'm very happy, guys. The third one is called Wonderwood. This is good, guys, when you get this, this size of, um, of the oils, because then you, you are able to make a full candle. Uh, when you get the, the mini sizes that I got with Brambleberry, you cannot make a candle out of that one unless you mix two of them. Okay, let's read about this. Wonderwood, inspired by Comme des Garcons. The top note is Bergamot. Nutmeg, clovey bud, uh, the middle notes, amber mist, jasmine, vetiver, the bottom notes, cedarwood, guaca wood, and sandalwood. Both spices and bergamot collide. Misted notes of jasmine, amber, and vetiver are joined together. A raw element of woods uh, lingers. Oh my god, this one is very sophisticated. This one smells, oh my goodness. Okay, this one smells like a very expensive perfume, and now I see why it's inspired by Comme des Garcons. Oh my God, it's very sophisticated, very like, it feels like you're walking into a palace, into a place where uh, a lot of money. <sighs> Beautiful, it's, uh, I, I smell the, I love the jasmine, uh, it's very delicate and very invigorating, not invigorating, very like uh, welcoming, you know, it's, I love it guys. And also the base of wood, uh, the woodsiness of the sandalwood combined with jasmine and the rest of the woods. The bottom notes, I think, makes it very special. Um, fragrance, another good one, guys. Okay. Now, let me read to you what I got from Shaggy GPT. At the top note, it features a fresh and citrusy aroma of bergamot, complemented by the warm and aromatic scent of nutmeg, and the spicy and slightly floral fra uh, fragrance of clove bud. Okay, clove bud, I need to remember that because that's really very special in here. Moving to the heart of the fragrance, it features the rich and cozy notes of amber mist, the sweet and floral aroma of jasmine, and the earthy and slightly smoky scent of vetiver. Wow, that's what's really ma making it very mysterious. Finally, the base notes of cedarwood, guaca wood, and sandalwood provide a warm and grounding finish that is both woody and musky. Together, these notes create a beautifully balanced and inviting fragrance that is perfect for creating a cozy and comforting atmosphere in any room of your home. <sighs> Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this one is a big yes, of course. Wow. The next one is called The Scent of Peace, inspired by Bon Nomi 9. And Bon Nomi 9, guys, is one of my favorite fragrances. These are two ounces, guys. And like I told you, on a, on a video before, guys. This regular price is $22. It's $11 an ounce. But when you sign up as a candle maker, and you, when you have to show proof, uh, you get 50% off on everything, okay, guys? So it's worth it for you to make the investment. Okay, the set, the, the set of, of the piece inspired by bond number nine. The top note is black currant, raspberry, grapefruit, wow. Uh, middle note, uh, lily of the valley, apple blossom, jasmine, and the bottom note, cedar, musk, and amber. Okay, tart fruits are blended with fresh florals, amber, white cedar, and cashmere musk. Okay, this one has a way of working. It's like, I feel like a spiral, you know? A spiral of uh, peace, you could say. You know when you look at um, 
have you seen all those hypnotizing videos that it has like a spiral that it goes around and around and around? When I close my eyes, this is what I see. Okay, it, it, this like it grounds you. It's very, very soft. Nothing really like comes to either wake you up or too powerful. It is very calming, very like peaceful. And that's now I see why it came the, the name, uh, the scent of peace. Everything brings perfectly. Everything really like complements each other. This, this scented candle is a fresh and, and vibrant fragrance that combines fruity and floral notes with a warm and comforting base. At the top, no, at the top, it features the juicy and tart aroma of black currant. Yes, but it's not. It's tart, but it's not like that. You have to that it makes you uncomfortable. It's it's very very soft. The sweet and slightly tart fragrance of raspberry and the zesty and refreshing scent of the grapefruit. Again, nothing is really like too powerful. It's, it's blended to perfection. The heart of the fragrance is composed of the delicate and fresh bouquet of lily of the valley, apple blossom and jasmine, which together create a beautiful and inviting floral aroma. Finally, the base notes of cedar, musk and amber provide a warm and comforting finish that is both grounding and sensual. Yes, this is beautiful guys. This is very like, Relaxing. I think this will be go uh, go great. Like, if you know you're gonna uh, to a place that it's gonna be conflict, bring this candle, guys, because it's gonna calm everybody down. Okay, this is very nice, beautiful. I'm also very sophisticated. Perfect. Okay, the next one is called White Suede, and it's inspired by Tom Ford. Show you the the label so you can see. Okay, I love the name White Suede. I don't think I ever smelled this like most of the Tom Ford um, scents. Some of them, they are too much for me. Okay, top note is a thyme, saffron, rose water. Middle note, lily of the valley, uh, made leaves, suede. Bottom note, sandalwood, amber, and white musk. An, herb uh, an herbaceous blend of thyme and saffron is blended with sheer rose water. A mid note of wild lily is joined with tea leaf and soft suede. A cozy, a cozy wood on the tongue complements this aroma. Very platonic. I don't know how to. Uh, platonic meaning like it's very like ethereal, very like it takes you to another level, to another galaxy. This is so special, so different from anything else that I ever smell, guys. Everything is very delicate, very sophisticated, guys. In all these fragrances that I smell so far, I can tell that this comes from a very expensive uh, base, okay? This is out of this world. I highly recommend this one. Okay, this one is a big yes too. I like it because it's, you know, it doesn't smell like a Joe Malone scent. This one, Joe Malone scent, uh, they kind of smell all the same. This one smells different. This one smells like each and everyone has their own personality. It, it reminds me of 1617 in a way. Okay, so let me read to you about this scent. The candle is a sophisticated and elegant, and elegant fragrance that combines a range of complex and exotic scents. The top notes, the top notes feature the warm and herb uh, herbaceous aroma of thyme, the rich and spicy scent of saffron. Saffron is what it really makes this one. Wow. And a touch of delicate rose water. The heart of the fragrance features uh, the fresh and delicate aroma of lily of the valley. Oh my goodness, I can't stop smelling it. The slightly bitter and energizing scent of matte, uh, matte leaf. I don't know what that is. Wow. And a luxurious and rich fragrance of suede. Yes, finally, the base notes of sandalwood, amber, and white musk provide a warm and sensual finish that is both earthy and woody. Together, these notes create a beautifully balanced and integrated fragrance that is perfect for creating a sophisticated and inviting atmosphere in any room of your home. Yes, <sighs> absolutely epic. I want you guys to be able to see this from the front, okay? Okay, so now the next one is called Violet Orchid. This one is also inspired by Tom Ford. This one is very dark. Okay, it has honey, that's why. Okay, so let me read to you about this one. I about Tom Ford. Okay, the top note is mandarin, honey, light rum. Middle note, black orchid, jasmine, heliotrope. Bottom note, amber patchouli, and sandalwood. Whipped honey nuances are captured with mandarin and white rum. A floral arrangement is in the heart. A warmth of wood is beneath this aroma. I don't like this one. I don't know what it is. I think the, the white rum and the mandarin together is not for me. 
yeah, the alcohol really messed it up. Um, there's something here, and I believe it's, it's the mix of the honey. Since the top note, when I go like this, okay, right, right in there at the top note, it made me not like it. I think the top note, mandarin, honey, and light rum together, I really, um, it doesn't do it for me. It's not talking to me. It's not giving me, uh, it's not making me feel any kind of emotion, you know? It's just, uh, it just making me reject it. Let me, keep, let me just read it. What GPT has to say about this one. The top note features the sweet and juicy aroma of mandarin, the warm and rich scent of honey. Okay, no, it's working to me in a different way. And a touch of intoxicating light rum. Okay, uh, the rum, it's what's not making me like it. Now, now I can really distinguish now. Moving to the heart of the fragrance, it features the heady and floral notes of black orchid. The sweet and slightly spicy scent of jasmine and the powdery and almond-like, uh, powdery and almond-like fragrance of heliotrope. Also a heliotrope. Maybe that's what's not making me like it. Finally, the base notes of amber, patchouli, and sandalwood provide a warm and sensual finish that is both earthy and woody. Okay. Okay. All I know is that this something here. I think it is between the mix of the honey and the rum. It's, it's, it's clashing against each other. It's not making me love it, okay? So this one's gonna have to say no. Again, that's my opinion. I mean, you may love it, you know, so. Ah, okay, the next one is Tobacco Vanille, okay? This one is also inspired by Tom Ford, and this, come on, a perfume by Tom Ford is one of my favorite ever. I think that there's a singer, Harry Styles, that's his name, that he uses this, this is his signature cologne. Is that his name, Harry Styles? He was from uh, from a kid group. Okay, so let's say what it says in about in here. Okay, inspired by Tom Ford. Top note: citron, tobacco flower, and ginger. Middle notes: vanilla orchid, heliotrope, tobacco leaf. Bottom note: tonka bean, cedarwood, and musk. Tantalizing nuances of tobacco flower joined together with citron and ginger. A heart of floral and tobacco create an a genderful aroma. Tonka and moss complement this uh, epic aroma. Okay, so let's see. Um, the mailman just came by. Okay, this smells exactly like, like the perfume. It's strong, but that's the way it is, okay? This is beautiful, but you have to be careful with this one, guys. I love this one so much, but you have to make this one, it's, I will not use 10% fragrance load in this one. I will add 6%, you know, because you want to, to get the vibe, you wanna get the atmosphere of love, of passion, of, of sensual, very sensual. But you have to be careful with this one, you have to not get 10%, okay guys? And so let me read to you. It's just like the, the fragrance. It's amazing how the, uh, the scented candle is a warm and inviting fragrance that combines a variety of different notes to create a complex and intriguing aroma. At the top note, it features the bright and zesty scent of citron, which is complemented by the rich and earthy aroma of tobacco flower and a touch of, spice, uh, of spicy ginger. The ginger is really makes it, makes it very wicked. Yes, the heart of the candle is composed of a blend of floral and tobacco notes, including the sweet and creamy scent of vanilla orchid, the powdery and slightly floral aroma of heliotrope, and the deep and complex fragrance of tobacco leaf. Ah, the tobacco is makes it in this one. Finally, the base notes of tonka bean Cedarwood and moss provide a warm and comforting finish that is both grounding and sensual. Overall, this, can this scented candle is a beautiful balanced fragrance that is perfect for creating a cozy and inviting atmosphere in any room of your home. It's very welcoming, very, I feel like I'm being hugged, you know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna love this one. Beautiful. It's a big yes, of course, a big yes. Okay, and the last one, and I'm gonna tell you the name because the name is uh, kind of like, uh, I don't wanna get censored, but let me show you the label so you know what it says, okay? Okay, inspired by, also by Tom Ford. Okay, the top note is clarity. Okay, let me just make the, and I know my head is getting caught up, but I don't care, guys. I, I want you to see the, the scent. I had the window open, so I have fresh air coming through, so I'm not getting overwhelmed. Okay, uh, the top note, clarity sage, citrus and lavender, the middle notes is bitter almond, orris, I don't know what orris is, distressed leather, 
Bottom note, amber, tonka bean, and white wood, okay? This is in your her herbaceous, nuances of sage and lavender are blended with fresh citrus. Heart of orris root and leather are complemented with bitter almond, touches of sweetness by a lie underneath with this unique aroma. Oof. This is very grown up, this is very adult. And this is, again, this one is, the whole, the whole name, is effing fabulous. Oh my God, okay. This one I have to make it into a candle, guys, because this, it, it wakes up the animal in you. I don't know what it is in here. The sage and the lavender, it opens up your nostrils and it makes you breathe and it makes your blood flow. Okay, uh, the citrus are great in here too. And I think the orange root, whatever that is, and the leather combination is really my, the secret of this beautiful fragrance oil. Okay, let me read to you what it says on ChatGPT. Okay, it begins with an invigorating and herbaceous top notes of clary sage, complemented by the fresh and zesty scent of citrus and the calming aroma of lavender. Wow, okay. <sighs> It's amazing. Moving to the heart of the fragrance, it features bitter almond, orris, and distressed leather, which together create an, an distinctive, a distinctive and intriguing aroma that is both uh, nutty and leathery. And finally, the base note of amber, tonka bean, and white wood provide a warm and comforting finish with a subtle sweetness that perfectly balances out the earlier and earthy herbal notes. Overall, this candle is a one-of-a-kind scent that is both unique and inviting, making it perfect for use in any setting where you want to create a cozy and welcoming atmosphere. This, guys, is effing fabulous. Yes! Oh my God. This is a must. You have to get this one, guys. Yes! Oh my goodness. I think this is the favorite from all of them so far, okay? And the last one is called Savage, inspired by Christian Dior, okay? And this is one of my favorite also colognes from Dior. Again, this is inspired by Dior. It's not by Dior, okay, guys? I don't wanna get in trouble. Inspired by, okay, the top note is white grapefruit, bergamot, black pepper. The middle notes, oh my God, I get it already. Woof, very strong. Middle notes, lavender, jasmine, and heliotrope. Bottom notes, almost, cedarwood, and tonka bean. Uplifting nuances of hybrid citrus are shared with spices, flows, okay, with, shared with spices, flows and mingling throughout with soft foods and moss. Okay, I have to say, no. Okay, I know Savage and this one doesn't, mess, doesn't smell like Savage to me, you know? I don't like it. I think the utmost really ruins this at the end. I think, I don't know what it is, but the the bottom notes, I think there's something that doesn't smell to me. It, there's something that really makes me reject this. I don't know uh, how to explain it to you, but it's not the, the scent that I remember from the cologne, from Dior, okay? There's something here that makes it like, it doesn't, it doesn't give me, it doesn't bring me any emotion. It just say, okay, it smells good, but it's not something that I will say, oh, you have to get me, okay? Let me read you the description from ChatGPT on this one. Okay, at the top, it features the citrusy and zesty aroma of white grapefruit and bergamot. Maybe that's what is, is the top notes of grapefruit and bergamot. I don't know, with a touch of spicy black pepper. I think that's what it is, guys. Those three notes together is making me not like this. At the base, the candle is grounded with earthy woods, woody notes with oak moss and cedar wood while the addition of tonka bean provide a warm, cozy, and sweet finish touch. Okay, I'm not getting the vibe for this one, so this one I'm gonna have to say no. Okay guys, and here the new fragrance. These are the nine fragrance oils from Stone Candles, guys. I hope you enjoyed my review, guys. Um, okay, so most of them I love, you know. My favorite is, of course, this one here. Beautiful scents from Stone Candles. And guys, I wanna remind you guys, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to visit my website, candleromas.shop, so you can shop all my beautiful candles in there, guys. 
And don't forget also that I go live every Sunday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, guys. Until the next one, don't forget to give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. Okay, guys? I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yes! Yes!